Mountains in Oregon and Washington have been identified by the U.S. Geological Survey as a very high threat volcanoes, Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Rainier. Cor Harlan explains why they're such a big threat and what's underway to help detect damaging volcanic activity before it happens. Last year's U.S. Geological Survey identified the very high threat volcanoes in our area. Mount St. Helens, Mount Hood, and Mount Rainier, which has what geologists call a high exposure factor. Not necessarily because all of the eruptions on Rainier are explosive, but because of how many people live near the mountain. Rainier is not nearly as explosive as Mount St. Helens has been historically, but Rainier does erupt, it does produce ash and light lava which melts glaciers and has in the past produced huge floods on rivers emanating from Rainier. That's really what Mount Rainier's hallmark is, is these large floods, large what we call lahars that have uh, reached down to places that are now in the Puget Lowlands that are pretty heavily populated. 1781 is the last time Mount Hood erupted. There are no signs of the explosive eruptions on Mount Hood, no mountain blowing its top, no big huge explosions on Hood or anything like that in its geological record. But according to Seth Moran, the scientist in charge at the Cascade Volcano Observatory in Vancouver, Mount Hood is a place where a very small eruption could have a very high impact. So small explosions could have ballistics that get down to say, you know, timberline, something like that. Um, there could be these small uh, pyroclastic flows, not big ones, but small ones that could travel down um, drainages. The National Volcano Early Warning and Monitoring System legislation is now before Congress. It would authorize more spending on more monitoring of these high threat volcanoes. Extra sensors would help with early detection of very subtle volcanic activity way below the surface to give the public more time to prepare and to survive some of the damaging effects of Northwest volcanoes. In Vancouver, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.